What up, world? This your boy War. We back in this traffic. And you know, I'm getting at y'all on my way to work before I get pissed off. <laughs> We're trying that out. See what that's going to be like. Alright, so I wanted to start a new segment. This one is called, Is It Racist? I know there's a lot of racial stuff going on in America. Racism is still alive and well. And maybe you just don't know, is that racist or not? Because you don't have me, a giant black friend who knows. Trust me, I've been through a lot of racism. I know what it is. I'm going to start with the obvious, the Zimmerman case. Racist as fuck. You know, it's been a lot in the news lately about the Zimmerman case. Um, you know, the verdict. It did it wasn't the verdict I wanted, and I know it wasn't the verdict a lot of America wanted, so I wanted to freestyle a bit and just try to speak on what it feels like to be me and you know, maybe un other people can relate to this. I always have to walk around feeling like a criminal. What's implied by Zimmerman's freedom is subliminal. Anytime that I walk around at nighttime with the hoodie, nobody's first thought is gonna be that I'm a goody goody. They're gonna think that I'm out here up to no good. Even if I'm in my own neighborhood. Or those of my family members. Or those of a different kind. It doesn't really matter because now it boggles my mind that there seems to be no justice in a country based on freedom. When we look at the other case of the girl who got 20 years, it looks like blacks just can't beat them. And when I talk about them, I'm talking about those who keep this system in place. It really doesn't matter what skin color they are or what expression is on their face. They want to keep us locked up, but we don't have to be in jail. I don't have my freedom on these streets because every time that I inhale, I have to think about who might be following me with a gun and may not let a mother see her son forevermore because once a life is taken you cannot replace it face it it's something you don't have the right to take because you can't give it or replace it I'm a rapper so I feel like I have to say shit because really I'm just feeling outrageous and I hope this feeling doesn't get too contagious because we saw what happened um, Rodney King and that didn't help anybody in any stages all right that one's done um, what's next hmm so to all my homies out there that been wanting to work with me on this music and I ain't got to y'all yet I want to know first things it's cuz y'all don't live in LA no more and you know it's hard for me to make music across the country. You know, I'm trying to figure out just how to make music, period, right now. Um, I got a little glare. I'm trying to get it out. Um, other than that, it's like, I don't want y'all to be mad that 2L is the only person on this album. I just want people to understand that 2L is in these streets. And I need to get him out these streets just so he don't die. Like, he 25. He already a triple OG. You know, time is limited and we don't get him out these streets. So I want everybody to support the 2L Get Out The Streets movement. I'm trying to get his ass working on this Homeless With A Notepad mixtape we've been talking about. Because, you know, that's going to be the realest shit ever. And, you know, I just don't want nobody in there had no hurt feelings. So if you in LA and you want to work with me, just hit me up. Y'all know the phone number. If you don't, you can email me. 